In this video, I want to go over the stats of the SWAT RFT in Blackout. First up, the SWAT will use 556 ammo and deal 36 damage. Now this actually differs from what we see with the other two 556 caliber assault rifles, the ICR and the Vapor, only deals 32 damage. The damage on the SWAT is more comparable to both the Rampart and K57 that deal 37 damage each. It does have a slightly lower rate of fire when compared to the Vapor at only about 621 rounds per minute. For comparison, this puts the rate of fire in between the ICR and the Vapor but faster than both the K-57 and, and Rampart. It's dealing 1 damage less than both 7.62 assault rifles, but firing much faster. When comparing to the ICR and Vapor, that 4 damage advantage can make a difference. The damage and rate of fire together give the SWAT the highest damage per second in the assault rifle category by a decent margin in blackout. Its ADS speed is around 283 milliseconds, which is standard for an assault rifle, so nothing on there, and its reload speed is around 1.6 seconds. These are all hand-tested numbers, of course, but that's close enough to every other assault rifle to determine that it's pretty accurate and also pretty normal. And before I forget, like I almost did, it has a standard magazine size of 35, which matches the ICR, Vapor, and KN57. Well, the only thing we haven't talked about yet is recoil, so let's take a look. This is without any attachments, and I'm not trying to control the recoil at all. This actually has a pretty tight recoil pattern. For comparison, I went ahead and did the Maddox. However, I don't think it really stands a chance without putting stock on it. The recoil was pretty intense, but that's expected with a faster rate of fire. This is really the only comparison I make to the Maddox, and I even mentioned earlier that the the only other two assault rifles are the ICR and Vapor that use 556, but that's because it behaves more like an SMG assault rifle hybrid. I also compared it to the ICR recoil since it's both a 556 assault rifle and one of the most accurate weapons in the game. If you compare the ICR and SWAT side by side, you can see that the SWAT isn't too bad. It's decently accurate, has high damage, and high rate of fire. Just based on its stats alone, this is one of the best weapons in Blackout. I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I feel like I'm getting more wins when using it. I've been sticking to using low zoom sights, and I really like using the ELO with it. It. To make up for this, I do like to carry a K57 or Rampart that has a high zoom sight to kind of balance things out for when I get into longer range engagements. Well, that's going to be the end of the video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this weapon. A like and subscribe is always appreciated, and I'll see you next time.